Hey everybody, welcome to today's show. Welcome to Equality and Rights for All. I am your host, Anthony Larito Duke, and I hope everybody has had a wonderful and safe week. And there are two topics for today's show. The first one is Trump said that any Jews that vote for Democrats are disloyal. And the second topic is after the recent Portland, Oregon protest, Trump's considering entitling Antifa groups as domestic terrorists, but he says nothing about the far right extremist groups. Now let's get right into the first topic. Trump said that any Jews that vote for Democrats are disloyal. Anybody with half of a half of a pea brain would know that that's not true. And the majority of the Jewish people here in the United States are Democrats. The major majority are Democrats. And it does not mean that they are disloyal to Israel. No. As a matter of fact, one of the greatest politicians for decades, okay, is currently running as a candidate for presidency. And I'm talking about Bernie Sanders. Okay? And so how dare Trump say that? And then on top of that, Trump stipulated that what he said about about Jewish people uh, who vote for Democrats are disloyal. Trump added that what he stipulated was not anti-Semitic. And anybody, again, with half of a pea brain, because the brain is literally only the size of a pea, anybody with half of a pea brain would know that what he said was, in fact, anti-Semitic. And this is what Trump encourages. He encourages hate. And this is proof. And if anybody out there who does not believe me, look it up for yourself. Look it up for yourself. Now let's get right into the second topic of today's show. Right after the recent uh, Portland, Oregon protest, Trump's considering entirely Antifa groups as domestic terrorists, but says nothing about the far-right extremist groups. Now, for all the people out there, for all my fans out there who don't know what Antifa groups are, Antifa stands for anti-fascist groups. Okay? And anti-fascist groups are... uh, Basically, they're for the democratic side, and they stand up for people's rights, and they stand up to against hateful groups and stuff like that. Now, um, as I'm, I'm sure lots of people know, but just in case for all my fans out there who don't know, in the past, not too far ago, um, when the far right groups, which are the hateful groups, which are the um, white nationalist groups that are the white supremacy groups, in other words, when they uh, did a protest in the past and it caused a lot of problems, okay? And Trump turned around and said that these were very nice people, they were very good people, whatever else have you. That's what he said about these far-right extremist groups. And when the uh, Antifa groups who, again, they side with the Democrats, when they do peaceful protests, like they just did in Portland, Oregon, very recently, they were met by hateful groups. And, you know, there was, uh, this time, there were a few uh, issues, but not as bad as prior protests. 
But then Trump turns around and he says that, that these Antifa groups, uh, that he's considering them as domestic terrorists. But he won't do that to the far right groups. So, again, this is further evidence, ladies and gentlemen, proving that Trump and his administration believe in hate. They want hate. They cause hate. They cause fights. They're, they're all negative. They, uh, and they cause problems. And for the hatred, uh, and it, it's this really is not the right thing to do. It's, this should not be acceptable. This is not acceptable, I should say. And this should not be tolerated and not accepted, and in turn, come next year, 2020, people need to remember that come election time next year, 2020, that this is what Trump and his administration believe in, this is what they do to people, and that is, is not acceptable, and that they need to Get out there and vote. That's very important. And get Trump out of office. And that's, again, voting is very important. For all those that are tired of Trump's lies and his deceits and his hate. Okay? And how he promotes hate, and how he flip flops on stories. Okay, if you don't want him in office, get out there and vote next year in 2020. And make sure that you're, uh, you get out there and you vote and you're saying, we're not going to take this anymore. It's unnecessary. And we don't like it. And we don't want our children to be around this. And we're not going to accept it anymore. And we want him out of office. And that's the bottom line. You've got to get out there and vote. Because if you don't, for anyone who just stays home and doesn't go to vote, You know what? You're creating the problem all over again. And you're saying you don't care. And that's not right. So get out there next year and vote. Now, with that being said, I want to remind everybody about my business, my website, which is Advocate Information Highway. And the link to there is theaih.com. That's T-H-E-A-I-H dot C-O-M. And you guys can check out all the pages on there. And you guys can join in on the discussions at the top of each page. And on the home page of the website, which is the first page, you will see the links to where you guys can uh, listen to uh all of my episodes of this show, Equality and Rights for All, and my other show, Disabled Reality, that I host here on Spreaker.com. And uh, you'll see the links to both of my shows, and you can listen to all of my episodes. And speaking of my, of my shows, this show, Equality and Rights for All, is scheduled for Thursdays, and my other show, Disabled Reality, is scheduled for Fridays. It's just a time slot that I'm still working on. So, but they uh, are, this one is uh, Equality and Rights for All is scheduled for Thursdays and Disabled Reality is scheduled for Fridays. Now, also on the homepage of the website, you will see the links to my 10 internet newspapers. You will also see the link to where you can follow me on social media. You will also see the links to both of my business pages on Facebook, 
uh, in which the first uh, the first page is called uh, Advocate Information Highway, and the other link is called Advocate Information Highway Express. And you could check both of them out. The second page of the website, which is the blog page, you guys can check out all of my uh, blog posts on there. And the third page of the website, which is the store page, you'll see three links at the top under the discussion area and under the banner. These three links are in yellow. And the first link is to my internet store in Zazzle.com, in which I designed a lot of products and they're up for sale on there. The second link is to my author's page on Amazon.com, in which you can purchase both books that I wrote on there. The third link is to the website that my husband and I have together called OddsAndEnds.com. That's O-D-D-Z like zebra, N like Nancy, E-N-D-S.com. And you can purchase a lot of our products on there. And so with that, I hope to speak to everybody again tomorrow, which is Friday, August 23rd, The Disabled Reality. And I hope to speak to everybody again next week, next Thursday, which is August 29th, for this show, Equality and Rights for All. And so with that, take care, everybody. Bye.